What is going on everybody? Back with another long overdue follow along workout for your total gym or sliding bench trainer. This one is gonna be for those of you guys out there that want a faster pace, shorter workout. So we're doing 20 exercises for 20 minutes and I'm gonna shoot for 20 repetitions and we're gonna see where that takes us. And this is gonna be a total body workout with your arms, chest, back, shoulders, some legs, Probably the core probably gets the short end of the stick in this workout, but then again, if you're using this equipment, you're always kind of working your core in the various positions that you guys are set up into. We're gonna use some basic attachments that should come with pretty much any machine that you guys come with. I'm actually gonna opt for the traditional handles on this one uh, versus the chrome grip handles, and maybe you'll see that when we get into the workout here. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. I will link everything down below in the description box if you guys do wanna check it out and or support the channel. Uh, also, some timestamps down below if you guys wanna jump ahead to certain sequences in this workout. Let's jump right into it. All right guys, to start out, I'm gonna put this at level, I don't know, about eight or let's just say 10 on my total gym fit. So about three quarters of the way higher for you guys. It might stay there for the majority of this workout. We're actually gonna start with biceps. I said 20 repetitions, that can seem like a lot. We're gonna maximize the rest pause sets or you can say cluster sets. I made a whole video kind of discussing what those were. So if we can't get to a full repetition of 20, you guys will kind of follow my lead. We'll take some mini pauses if needed. Definitely take advantage of obviously the incline setting to adjust it to your, to your liking. Also feel free to use your legs and do some kind of forced repetitions if you guys need that assistance. All right, jumping into it. We're gonna do seated face in the tower. We're gonna do some straight bicep curls, very simple and easy and basic. Let's go with 20 repetitions. Chests are pulled back nice and high and let's begin. Two more. All right, going into tricep extensions. Kneeling, facing the tower this way. If you guys can't do this, you can kind of go on your legs and kneel this way. But I'm gonna go just like this, 20 repetitions. If you need some assistance, you might see me kind of do like a mini lat pull down or a little pull over into the tricep extension, but we'll see. All right, setting up and begin. Five more. All right, getting set up for a seated chest press, 20 repetitions and go. Last five. All right, for legs, I'm just gonna get behind the machine. I'm just doing body weight squats, 20 repetitions. If you guys want to, you can certainly use a squat stand, do a different total gym leg exercise. I think this is a really underrated exercise. I think everybody should still be doing body weight squats or some squats of some fashion. So. I'm just gonna opt for the body weight squats. Certainly can weight this if you guys want to. I'm sitting at pretty basic. All right, so 20 repetition and begin.
All right. All right, getting set up down here. You could opt for the Pilates bar attached. I'm just gonna use the larger squat stand. We're just gonna do some presses just like this. I wanna detach the pulley. Another option you guys can do is put a bar across this. I've shown that before. If this is tough to get in this position, just opt for some sort of push-up variation. Wasting no time, guys. I moved the camera around a little bit, but I'm trying to still go to fast click, so don't think I'm taking rest periods to set up this camera. All right, 20 repetitions and begin. Okay, we're doing pull-ups. You guys can either attach your wing dip attachments. I'm throwing on these angle 90s grips. I can link these down below if you guys need to see those. I'm gonna jack my incline up a little bit. All right, 20 repetitions. Probably should stop saying that. You guys get the idea, I think, at this point. And begin. Last four. All right, we're going chest flies. I'm leaving this higher incline setting and I'm gonna be using my feet to dissipate that weight Give myself a little mini boost and squeeze as much as I can right through the chest, obviously, but don't think of it so much in your arms. Really think of it a lot of that effort coming directly through the chest. So think about that stretch and then think about that contraction as you guys are doing this exercise. All right, get yourself set up. This might be a little tough, I think. I'm starting to, breath is starting to catch up with me. All right, 20 repetitions. All right, and begin. That's five. All right, take a little mini break if you guys need it. Okay, we're going inverted curls. Then after that, we're going into uh, supine on your back triceps. All right, let's go and begin. Okay, on your back, try some extensions. 
All right, and begin. Again, you can use your legs here if you needed some assistance. And begin. Focus on that contraction at the top. Okay, raise it if you guys want to. I'm going into a cross grip row. Okay, so cross my hands like this, sitting up nice and tall, just rolling into our sides like that. And begin. All right, good. Now this is why I left the handles in here. I am doing that hamstring curl. Now you could opt for, you know, glute kickbacks instead, something like this. Kick my legs back here. I'm gonna go for that hamstring curl, which I might have to lower this, but we'll see. I just showed that in that new exercise video I just had. Okay, so just like this is what I'm doing and actually, I gotta learn from my own advice and not go on the handles. Helps you get a little more of a grip. All right, 20 repetitions. If you need glute kickbacks, you might have to pause the video. I'm doing 20 reps here and begin. All right, that's felt good. All right, I'm doing regular presses. I would actually have done the squat jumps, but this thing starts moving a little bit, so caught an audible for myself. Just doing some deep, as deep as I can. Squats up like that, okay? Obviously 20 repetitions and begin. All right, that should have felt kind of easy. Go ahead and attach that middle pulley. We're doing prone face down pullovers. Okay, and begin.
right. Okay, go ahead and drop your squat stand down to a low setting. You're doing some lunges, just like that, 20 each side, whenever you guys are ready, and begin. Okay, switch sides and go. Good, take a break if you need it. Okay, let's raise that incline back up. I'm going mine to about just beyond the highest setting. What I need to get is a new microphone for Christmas. I lost my lav mic outdoors once, so I gotta use this thing. All right. Fist of Fury exercise. I just showed this in the new exercise video. If you haven't seen that, definitely check that out. A lot of good stuff in there. Uh, seated just like this, just punching, kind of like that, reciprocal motion back and forth. Kind of hard to do repetitions. I would do, I'm just going 30 Mississippi, guys. That's what I'm doing, okay, very simple, all right? Count 30 Mississippi in your head when you're starting. I know that's not the most uh, official way of doing things, all right? and. Here's so set up and begin. I'm taking a little break, that was tough. Should have done 20 in Mississippi. That would've made more sense. All right, last time though, and go. Ooh, that was tough. Kneeling bicep curl, or you can go seated facing away from the tower bicep curl. I'm gonna go kneeling facing away from the towel. Be, be careful. All right, and begin. Okay, lying face down on the glide board, tricep extension. I hold this neutral grip like this with my handles, but you can hold whatever grip you want. Okay, and begin.
Okay, let's drop this incline to a very low setting. Well, a little higher than that actually. But honestly, that might be low enough for a lot of you guys. We're doing rear delt flies. You do not need a lot of resistance for this one to be done properly. Cross grip, you can use your legs certainly. We wanna get at least this far back, okay? I mean, you can do whatever's comfortable with your shoulders, but I'm aiming for a little bit extra range of motion back here. 20 reps and begin. You can go up to a Y or you can go out to a T. I'm doing that rest pause set because I feel that tension building up, but I want to keep quality range of motion, especially in this exercise. So a little bit of mini break here. All right, last set of 10. Such a good exercise, guys. Very underrated. It's one that I gotta do more of. Works all those weak body parts that most people just neglect. I'm cranking this up full bore. I'm doing single leg squats. All right, get yourself set up sideways. Whatever, you can go, you can go on your back if you want to. We're just doing these single leg squats. You guys know the rep range, here we go. All right, switching sides and begin. Okay, and last but not least, we're doing inverted presses. I actually have to find my wing dip attachments. They are somewhere in my house, and I gotta find them. You think of all this equipment I got laying around. I got other attachments, other pull-up bars I could hook on, but I'm just gonna do the base of the machine. So pause it if you wanna hook up the uh, inverted wing dip attachments. Just doing inverted shoulder presses. Okay, here we go. Guys, that is it. In my opinion, that was a pretty good, solid, quick, efficient workout, really showing off the skills and the benefits of these sliding bench trainers. Certainly a workout you guys could come back to uh, frequently if you guys want to do like a quick 20 minute workout. That should be 20 minutes. When I edit this, we'll see if it comes out to 20 minutes. You can certainly do this whole sequence again and make it a 40 minute workout, probably even do a 60 minute workout. So it's kind of up to you, but certainly this definitely gets the job done. 
Uh, as always, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing this content if you guys like it. If you guys want one-on-one -on -one coaching any fashion, go to signingbenchtrainer.com, shoot me an email, signingbenchtrainer at gmail, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much.